Jay Slater's family has placed flowers near the spot where he passed away and written condolences, calling him a beautiful boy and forever young. The 19-year-old's body was discovered on Monday morning in Tenerife. A trail overlooking the ravine had bouquets of white flowers and chrysanthemums next to a big rock. The blue ribbon adorned monument featured a teddy bear decked out in an England football shirt, a small angel holding a sparkling cross, and a red jar holding a candle. One of the bouquets had a handwritten note from his mother, Debbie Turner, which was fastened with a blue peg. It said, To my beautiful boy, I'm so sad you were lost to us. I really do miss you. You will always be youthful and always missed. I adore you, mother. To my boy, love dad, always, XXX, was another heartfelt remark attached to a post by Jay's father, Walter Slater. Above a blue ribbon wrapped around the post, next to a wooden bead bracelet, one with the initial J on it, was the dedication. A lone white rose included a third handwritten note, written in a shaky handwriting from Jay's brother, Zach. I love you, little bro. It said, I could have never imagined that I would be doing this. I'll take care of my parents. I hope you and granddad are having a great time up there. Wish I could see you again soon. Zach XX, I love you, rest easy dude. After splitting up with his pals, he set out with two men who took him back to their airbim on the outskirts of the 20-mile distant settlement of Masca. He boasted in a Snapchat message to his pals that he had just taken a 12,000 pounds Rolex watch from a party gore and would sell it for 10,000 pounds. This was while he was driving. Later, he uploaded a picture of himself standing at a home's doorway just after seven in the morning on his Snapchat account. He called his friend Lucy Law about an hour later, informing her that he had missed the shuttle down south to his accommodations in Los Angeles and was lost in the mountains with 1% battery and no water. Christian, it was almost 11 hours distant, but he said he had set out on foot to try to return to his accommodation. Afterwards, Malin Lang located a witness who disclosed that he had left the area by walking northward rather than taking the scenic route southward into Los Cristianos. People in the area have conjectured that instead of taking the narrow road back through the mountains, he would have determined that it would have been easier to locate the coast and walk back along it. They say he may have seen the sea in the distance and decided to head off the road, down a track into the Juan Lopez Valley. But he would have noticed the approaching path, to a sudden stop after half a mile, sending him tumbling down a hill to rocky outcrops at the valley's end closest to the coast. It is thought that before tripping and plunging into the ravine, he attempted to ascend a ridge in an attempt to continue his journey to the sea. Because the ravine location is so remote, search teams needed almost four weeks to locate him. Yesterday, Spanish authorities verified that the body found had been recognized by J. Firm's fingerprints. Alongside his body, which had injuries consistent with a fall from a height, were his belongings. A photo of Jay and the words, rest in peace, Jay Slater, 19 year old, were displayed on the fourth tribute. 19 years old. Two crosses and four blue love hearts served as illustrations for the statement, which also said, Tenerife will always have you in our hearts. Gone, but not forgotten forever. Love and blessings upon you. The location of the tributes is around 100 yards along a route in the Baron Copan Lopez Valley that Jay is thought to have taken in the moments before he passed away. Approximately one mile separates it from the profound chasm where he is thought to have perished four weeks ago while attempting to make his way back to his lost Christianos Hotel following a night on the town. This morning, the panorama overlooking the ravine in the distance and the ruggedly magnificent valley was eerily calm, broken only by the 